Students across the William S. Hart Union High School District walked out of classes in protest last week, waving flags and asking for the schools to stay as a safe place for LGBTQ plus students over a discussed district rule called parental notification, or what some are calling it a force outing policy. It would require school staff to report LGBTQ plus students to their parents without consent within a 72 hour period. A discussed action that has caused an uproar in many Hart families and has some former school staff from other districts angry. I think it's a big mistake. If a child feels safe on sharing their sexual identity with their parents, they will. And it's not up to teachers to step in the middle. This rule is similar to ones made in Tamluka and Orange County schools. Many LGBTQ plus clubs on Hart campuses and Instagram pages like Rise Up SCV, our schools dot Santa Carita, and much more opposed to the policy have also shared their minds about it. One of the pages that helped form the walkouts, Hart Student Walkout, are one of the more bigger pages in this situation. The Instagram account runner, Heather DeCozer, gives a statement when asking her opinion about the issue. She stated that how, quote, I feel that the policy being in place would cause a lot of problems in the school district. It would cause a lot of students to reach their breaking point mentally. They would get kicked out, get abused, and it would be horrible for our school district. A big argument about the policy is how it violates some California educational codes, that being Section 200 and 220, and the state law with that being Government Code Section 11135. While there is people who don't support this new rule, there are some who do and some that want to try to look for a middle ground. The chair of the Moms for Liberty LA chapter, Karen Frost, gave us a statement when asking her questions about the policy, stating, quote, We just need to start listening to each other, like really listening to each other and meeting our kids where they are and meeting their needs, to stop making assumptions about one side or the other. I just want people to start listening and not just emotionally reacting. When trying to contact the Hart District about the situation and the policy as a whole, they were not able to comment back. But the superintendent of the Hart District, Mike Coleman, did make a statement about the protest from last Wednesday by saying how they understand that this can affect people and we're going to do a board meeting that night at Hart High School. The Hart District has not fully decided on ratifying the rule, but will decide on it in a future board meeting. For Canyons News, I'm Christopher Casey. I grew up in this district. I came out in this district, and I can tell you a